Okay, let's get into these and have a little look, shall we? This one is the one where the B button is not working. Um, I'm going to need to find something that uses the B button. Let's try Super Mario Kart on the DS. So I'll power it on and get to Mario Kart. There we go. So. A button, so B button should put me back, but it doesn't. <laughs> or it should reverse the car. Our oh, button's working. But yeah, the B button should be reverse. But it's not. So I'm going to have to get it apart and have a look. Uh, let's take the thing apart. I'll come back once the back is off. That's all the screws out of the back. So let's have this off. out of the way so we need to take two screws out from the analog stick two screws out from the SD card holder four screws out from the main PCB over here on the left video of my fat hands in a way so that's them four out so this can pop up pop the volume out and then this to desolder unplug and then there should be two more screws here and here take that off pop the microphone out and the wireless card off and then I should be able to poke that out of there and we can have a look at these buttons peel this off Doesn't look corroded underneath. <laughs> but those buttons do have some little brown marks on them. Um, let's get the little brass brush out. Give them a clean up. And I'm going to do the same with the inside of there. And 
stick it down. Not that it wants to stick, but hey ho. Let's um plug that in. Let's get the battery held in place. This is going to be quite the um, mess about. Definitely not going to win this race. So I can't actually pick anything. Oh, hang on. Oh, I know. Let's turn that back off for a second. And let's plug this in. I'm surprised it even came on without the wireless card being attached. 3DS does some funky things without that being plugged in. So we'll try that again. <laughs> and there you go. It actually starts up. And the B button works now. So, ah. Uh, Right, I need to dry this off and try and get this to stick down. So. could just put that on there and let's see if that does the job if I open it I should be able to hear it No, I'm not overly keen on that. It's not quite in the right place. Uh... I'm just um, sliding it across, but I think I may have to Try and find a way to stick it. Right, that might have wound up in the right place. That feels good. Let's get them screws in. Although, typically, the 
of course that's not in the right place now okay let's try that Hopefully, get this back in there. Yep, and that will be all that was wrong with it. I hope I'm going to touch up the battery terminals whilst we're in here with a bit more solder so that they don't go in the future but let's just check that Mario Kart is still good to go Those two are working. Just need to make sure X and Y work as well. Oh, I pressed the button on the game card. Oh well, we'll put it together and test them. Right, I'll be back in a minute once this is back together. Right, okay, we're mostly back together. All the screws are in. I've soldered these back down, I've soldered those. So, we'll get the cover on. And try to have a little game of Mario Kart. Before we look at the next one. You can get in there. Wait for it to boot up. Screws out. Have a look inside. Um, I'm not sure if it's been opened before. While well, we've got the soldering iron on, let's do what we always do and give those a decent amount of solder just to hold everything in place because they always break might as well sort them out now while we're here and before i forget later so i'm gonna disassemble this a bit more so we can get in and have a look at these and then i'll come back again the battery's quite swollen, so that's going to need to be replaced. What is this battery? I've got a battery just on the desk here. Is that one? No, that's completely flat. That's a shame. Um, another one here. They're all over the shop batteries. Yeah, that one's nicely charged. So, yeah, it still goes pop, but... The flat battery, I'll have to find some way of disposing of that. Flat battery over there. Right, back to taking this apart. That's the first two that are fixed up and charging. This one obviously goes pop. So I need to get this stripped down. I'll be back shortly. So far, we are two for two. One in the diagnosis video that just needed the charger port sorting out. I better just. Um, Plug this in briefly to make sure it does charge. Yep, 
that's charging. Oh, I didn't check the cameras, did I? Can't access the SD card, you have find out of camera. In a camera, yeah, so that's, that's fine. So I'm gonna get this one updating and chuck it out of the way. Well, yeah, return to home. Brakes working. That's changing view, and that is yep. So I'm just testing L button. Yep, we are good to go. So that's the first one. Apart from the screws going back in, that's that one all sorted. So we'll move on to this one in a sec, once I bugger off and put the screws in this. All the screws are in, let's get that battery in. Get the back on, oh, minus that sketchy old um, touch screen. Put this uh, dubious Mario Kart in there. I'm quite sure that's a knockoff. I won't be selling that any time. And yeah, we'll get the old screen and I'm gonna peel off this black surround. If I can even yeah, get that off and then somehow this is really well stuck on here. Yep, there we go. We've got fingernail underneath that. Hoik that off. Because it's not scratched up or nasty or anything. Just get that surround off of there. Rained on the parade, hasn't it? It's snapped. Fudge. Um, Screws in there, and I'll get the back in, and then I'll get the screws into this as well, and come back again in a minute. It's not like I don't have a few. So, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Pop the board out. Um, Remove said touch screen from motherboard. Peel touch screen off of LCD. Take the new one out the bag. Work out which way round it's got to go. off and sit it in 
there. And just for good measure, I'm going to take these back off again, just because I want it to sit in properly. That's not quite right, is it? Stupid boy. And you're thinking, no, that's definitely not going to be straight, is it? It's not. That's so wonky. Things I'm going to do. Get a case that's not attached. And use that one. Hopefully this time I can um, stick it in the right place. That looks good, or it would do if I hadn't stuck this down there. Just pop off a little bit, mate, just a little bit so I can Pull that back out, thank you. Right. Now I can put this. I can't, can I? Because I'm useless. You go in there. Excellent, that's that one in. I'm going to just need to get this I don't think that's really in Let's find out, shall we? If I can find the battery. Oh, where's the plastic tweezers? Might have to jab it with my finger. But, 
I just jabbed something and it worked, so. Plastic tweezers, where did you go? Yep, touch screen seems to be working fine. So I'm going to put that back together. I'll be back once there are lots more screws in place. There we go, it's one of those, and one of those, and, oops, just move it out of the way for a sec, because I want to Pop those little tabs up. And the screen. Oh, that's the first one in. That's the second one in. So with any luck, I should be able to, where's it gonna go? Right, this one. Just have to try and work out which way round the flipping thing goes. Must go in like that. And then that one. Goes in like that. Now, if this works, I can then proceed to pull the rest of it apart on that top and find out where the problem lies. It could be the backlight, it could be the LCD, or it could be the cable. But, till we get it turned on, and will it turn on because the Wi-Fi card's not connected? Oh. Are you joking? Please don't tell me this has got some stupid custom firmware on it as well. Because <sighs> the blue light comes on. Okay. What way round does that cable go? Have I put it in the wrong way? No, I've put that cable in the right way. That's in the right way. So that should be coming on. Um, I'm going to plug this in. And I'm just going to check a memory. Oh, just put the memory card in. Memory card in, hold the start button, hold the power off. Not got enough hands for this. Buttons what? Hmm. Maybe it's the bottom screen. Okay. That would 
be an interesting turn of events. You can come back off. It'd be an interesting turn of events and a pain in the ass because I didn't need to try all these, but hey -oh. right. I can't see anything wrong with it, but put that there for a minute. Box of spares. You're a bottom screen. You're a fiddly little git. There you go. All right, that's in. Battery. Oh, for sake. It's the bottom screen. Or it might be the bottom screen. I'm going to pop that. Let's take these top bits back out. Put them out of the way somewhere safe. to touch screen back in and then I'll put it back in here I mean don't get me overly wrong I'm not going to complain if it's just the bottom screen because well it's a lot easier Problem is, it's never normally the bottom screen, it's always the top. So that's what threw me. That one's in there. Excellent. Um, battery. Make sure it's the right way around. Although it looks like that touch screen doesn't work. Does it even have a touch screen on it? Ugh. Do you know what though? Let's just get a brand new touch panel for it. That's all the screws out, so this should pop out reasonably well, apart from obviously the glue on underneath the uh, go it's always like a sticky glue pad but um what I need now is to take this off and this off start with so that's all of the top screen stuff out of the way I need to go and find a top screen and a um, speaker ribbon brightness up for a start and then let's start the don't forget these are the, the plastic ones they're not metal plastic so I'm not going to scratch the screen yeah I know there's no SD card in here but whenever you get an, a 3DS you should always do this always go and check to see if there is 
free stuff that you can re-download, obviously for free. And as Nintendo is shutting the eShop in the next year, get in there and get it downloaded sharpish. Because this stuff will go. But it does take a long time to load. Oh. Well, it's got someone's NNID on here. That's a shame. That's going to have to get deleted. But hopefully there's nothing tied to it. Remember, this is one that had the faulty bottom screen. And yeah, my internet is taking a little bit longer because I'm updating the red one um, on the same connection and uploading other YouTube videos on the connection. So it's getting rinsed and it's only epoxy, um, normal dial-up line. So, well, not dial-up, you know, just a normal crap, not high speed, five megabits per second. Load of old tut, that's all I can get in the office. There we go. But yeah, the, the first two didn't have any Nintendo IDs accounts linked to them. Wow, so slow. If anybody fancies making me a cup of tea whilst we wait, that'd be... Uh... Jolly marvellous. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I ordered these tweezers months ago. Um, I thought they'd be metal, but they're not. They're just plastic, so they're absolutely no use for hot work because they'll just melt. Good God, I've never known this to load so slow. To the menu, scroll down until you get to settings and other. Scroll down a bit more and re downloadable software. And hopefully, there's a nice list maybe another um, Rune Factory 4, Pokemon Shuffle. I think that's a free game. Steel Dive is a free game. Fantasy Life, not sure about that. That's a demo. That's the welcome version. Title is downloaded. Pokemon X up. Yeah, unfortunately, nothing exciting on that one. So I'm going to go ahead and format it because it's got someone's Nintendo network ID on there. And I can't really sell it like that. So, right, wait for the red one update and then we'll check that and then that'll be the end of this. Okay, so the third one, the black one, is all fully updated now. Let's just come through. So, let's see if there is anything on here. I mean, all, most of this is just fluff now. So, while that black one updates, I'm going to turn this red one on and I'll probably update this one as well to be honest but word was the battery was dying rather quickly I mean we're pretty much on a, a full charge I'm going to put the game in, I'm going to set up the internet and then I'll come back in a minute. Quick divergence, this is number one that just had the um, faulty uh, charging port. Obviously all updated and we're just looking through the things we've already downloaded or things you can download again. Lego City Undercover, 
um, Academy, Tic-Tac-Toe, Noughts and Crosses, Super Mario Land, which is a fantastic game, and Photo Dojo, oh, and Super Mario Brothers, and Pokedex. So that's all good. We'll deal with something like that in a bit. But this one, the second one we fixed, Hello Jackpot. The one that um, had the faulty B button has like, some took Kingdom of Plants, Luigi's Mansion videos and things. And then if we scroll a bit further, oh, The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. That was a freebie that was only available for a short while. And a bit further, Fire Emblem, Mario vs Donkey Kong, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Lots of Game Boy Advance games. And these are the um, Ambassador um, games. Nintendo 3DS Ambassador Certificate. So you've got a load of NES and a load of GBA stuff. I do wonder if there's anything else on here. But this is fantastic news. But apart from that, I don't think there's any big games but yeah that's got the ambassador certificate on there so that's excellent you don't see these ones turn up very often um in fact it's probably been a year since i've seen one turn up with those on there so ambassador. excellent i like that i like that a lot but anyway, I'm going to update, oh well, the, uh, the third black one that we've just fixed is updating. And we'll see what's on that as well. There we go, we found another one. I'll just be a bit more careful at removing this one. This is why you should always keep a box of spares. Because spares are pretty handy. Obviously what I should have done was put this in before putting the screen in, but it's a bit late for that now. There we go, that's in. So, let's um, try and find something that won't scratch the screen. Give me a finger. What's on the settings? There they are. Yeah, so we're on 9.90 .9 firmware, nothing, nothing exciting. And yeah, I'm just gonna set this one up and, and then I might come back and look at the red one that we've got on charge. Excellent, okay, so the red one has finally updated. So we'll just wait for that to turn on. And I'll stop being lazy and I'll get an actual touch pen out. So let's have a look, see if there's anything on this one. And then we should be good. Um, I've replaced the battery in it. And it seems to be holding quite a nice charge. It's fully updated. It's been on for 25 minutes and hasn't even touched the sides. Should be a bit quicker now as well because I've um, finished uploading the other videos on the laptop. To 
Visit your current region, United Kingdom. No. Back. Let's make sure that the region is set to UK, please. <clears throat> I don't want to lose that one pound ninety seven. Profile region. United Kingdom. Jolly good. Then we'll go back to trying out the um, e shop. Oh dear. This does also mean that there's going to definitely be an N and ID on here because there's credit on there. Load quick, load, please load quickly. Please load quickly. Once I put my teeth back in. Please load quickly. 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 As you can see, my days are fun filled with all of this toot doing the same thing over and over and over again. Fix something, test something, post something if it's actually sold. Read downloadable software. What have we got? Atlantic Quest, Jewel Quest. Somebody liked their puzzle games. Donkey Kong, Six Golden Coins, Mario Land. Yeah, that's about it. Well, I'm going to re-download Mario, but that's going to do that, and I'm going to go off and play Super Mario Land, and leave you guys and girls and everybody else to have a fun evening. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Take care, and I'll see you around in the next one. Bye.